Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video I'm going to be explaining the difference between passing by reference versus passing by value within JavaScript. Okay, so essentially the main difference between these two is that passing by value is going to make a copy of your data, whereas passing by reference does not. So technically speaking, when you pass by reference, you're still passing by value, but that value is a reference to that data. Okay, so um, in JavaScript, arrays and objects are passed by reference, whereas everything else like strings, integer, uh, floats, etc., they're all passed by value. Okay, so we're going to see a few examples here. Um, in fact, uh, the main example is going to be uh, passing by reference to demonstrate that, and then passing by value is uh, pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead here and go inside the text editor and uh, begin by creating a new object. Okay, so objects are passed by reference, so we can make a new constant here and call this one person equal to a new object. And we can have, uh, let's just say three properties. We can have the person's name, so we can say Dom, age of 30, and occupation of web developer. Okay, so we have this object right here. So now, if I was to pass this into a function, it's going to be passed by reference. Okay, so um, I can make a function down here, call this function decode, and it'll accept a single argument. This will be called A. Okay, so now, if I was to simply console.log A, all right, and then down here, I can call decode and pass person into there. If I was to save this and refresh the browser, um, we'll obviously see the object in the console, which we do. So if I was to expand this, we get the properties. Okay, so um, right here, we have uh, essentially passed um, a reference to the object uh, to the function. So A refers to this object right here. And this means that when I say person or when I say A, they're both referring to the same underlying object. Okay. This means if I was to modify A inside here, it's going to affect um, this object up here. So if I was to say um, A dot name is equal to Michael, okay, and save this and then refresh, we can see here um, that we do get Michael, but I'm just going to console.log um, below the function call. I'm going to console.log person, okay. So I can save this and refresh, and we get Michael in both cases, okay? Now you might expect that, um, you know, Michael only changes inside the function for the first one, but here we're passing by reference. So um, what's happened here is we've modified a single object. In fact, um, only a single object exists within this, um, within this script, okay? Um, but we're simply uh, having A as a reference to the same object that um, person is referencing. Okay, um, and that's basically it when it comes to passing by reference. Okay, and arrays work the same way. So if I was to just uh, make this instead a constant um, and call this one array equal to an array of numbers, so we can say, for example, 10, 20, and 40, um, inside decode, I'm gonna now. Um, just instead of uh, changing this, I'll just say array, sorry, um, a, a dot push. I'm going to add the number 70 to the array, okay? And then pass the array to the function, okay? And also console.log um, the array as well, okay? So now um, we should see the same result. We're going to see 70 in both cases. So I can save this and refresh. And we get here um, 70 in both cases. So now if these were passed by value, then we should have only seen uh, 70 in this case right here. But of course, in JavaScript, arrays are passed by reference. So um, you get the same result in both cases here. Okay, so um, when it comes to numbers, strings, uh, floats, etc., they're all passed by value. So um, let's just say, for example, if I was to uh, make this a number, so const... Uh, num is equal to 12 and then um, change this to uh, pass in 12 to the function and then uh, log it out here. Um, here in this case 12 is being copied and then passed into the function. So I can save this and refresh 
and of course we get 12 and 12 um, but yeah so uh, 12 has been copied and now we have two copies of 12 in this script um, and of course if we were to just say a equals 30 it's not really the same thing because we're simply reassigning um, the value of a so 12 still exists in the background but we're just reassigning the value of a so it's a bit hard to demonstrate the difference here but um, essentially you just got to know that when you pass by a reference you're simply passing a reference to a single um, instance of the array or the object okay so that right there is passing by reference versus passing by value within JavaScript. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.